LGBTQ youth are among the bravest people I know. A 13-year-old transgender child wrote to me, said, I hate looking at the news, not because I'm a teenager and it's boring, but because it's painful. I hear adults much older than me debate about my existence when they don't even know me. And we see who you are, made in the image of God. deserving dignity, respect, and support. That's why my administration in combating the dangerous, cruel practice of conversion therapy has been so outspoken. That's why we launched a nationwide crisis hotline where HB LGBTQ youth who are feeling isolated and overwhelmed can get help. They just have to call 988 and talk to a counselor. 988 and talk to a counselor. In other words, Gender ideology has so much stress, distress, and depression tied to it, that a special hotline is needed, yet you want to affirm as many kids into gender ideology as possible. Such nonsense. Over 600, 600 hateful laws introduced across the country. More than 70 of them becoming law just this last year, denying the existence of transgender people, silencing teachers, banning books, threatening parents with prison for getting their children health care. Families across the country now face excruciating decisions to move to a different state to protect their child from dangerous anti-LGBTQ laws. I received a letter from one mom who wrote me, and quote, I despair for families like mine who already become refugees inside our nation. Refugees inside our nation? That's how she feels, like a refugee inside our nation. This is the United States of America, and the United States Congress, extreme MAGA Republican, trying to undo virtually every bit of progress we've made. I'm never going to stand by and watch families terrorized, doctors and nurses criminalized, or any child targeted who for who they are. It's who they are. What about my sons, my daughter, my granddaughters, my grandson? What happens if they are at age 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and they know there's something different about themselves, and they have to come out? What do they say if they're not going to be accepted? The point is they're not afraid now to stand up and say, because guess what we learned? Our brothers, our sisters, our, our you know, the, the, the girl we went out with in high school, the guy you know. No, I'm serious. Think about it. The idea, it's normal. It's normalized. It's not anything strange. It's not strange. That's the generic point. And the more people know that, the more they understand it. Remember Anderson back 15, 20 years ago? We talked about this in, in, in San Francisco. It was all about, well, you know, gay, gay, gay bathhouses. And everybody, it's all about round the clock sex. It's all, come on, man. Gay couples are more likely to stay together longer than heterosexual couples. We're going to leave it there, Mr. Vice Thank President. You. Thank so, you very much. You are gay. It's really important that we, in fact, begin to educate people about what's going on. Because, you know, for example, when I came out and I came, when I publicly stated, <laughs> well, that would be news if you. <laughs> I got something to tell you. <laughs>